Grab your iPhones, your iPads, and your eyeglasses. And don't forget your vibe juice. And meet me back in your favorite spot. Let's talk about some hot comics. What's up, everybody? And welcome back to another episode of, you know, Keep It Comics. As always, I am your gracious host, C3. Today, I would like to thank everybody for stopping by, checking out the channel. I've got a nice video planned for us today. Yesterday was New Comic Book Day, and there wasn't a lot out there. So hopefully, this list will make up for it, because I'm almost certain you guys have many of these comics already in your collection. And for those of you who don't have these comics in your collection, back issue Ben Diving will be key here. All right? So you know the routine. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And make sure you ring that bell. So every time I do a video, you wonderful people will get that notification. And before we get started, remember... Good vibes only, ladies and gentlemen. I've got two honorable mentions that I want to bring to your attention before we get started. <laughs> nah, I didn't plan that either. I got two honorable mentions that I want to bring to your attention before I get down to the top 10. All right? So the first honorable mention I want to talk about was published by Marvel, and this is Punisher issue number one. And I'm talking about that beautiful all-white Alex Ross timeless variant with uh with the punisher on the front with the ratchet just mean mugging looking crazy he still has the old emblem on his chest and this is just a beautiful cover all right this book is a modern era book it was released on march 9th 2022 again it's that beautiful alex ross timeless variant and the last recorded cell um in a raw copy of this book was $6.64. And that was back in March 16th of 2022. Um, and this book is currently trending upward, ladies and gentlemen, at 29.51%. Again, not a lot of gain, but some gain nonetheless. So this book has risen above cover price. And I thought that I would like to, I thought that I should bring that to the comic book community's attention because this is a part of that big, uh, art collection that Alex Ross is putting together of all our favorite superheroes. The average price for a raw copy of this book is $6.74. There has been 36 copies of this book that have moved on the secondary market from then to now. And the highest known sale for a raw copy was $8.99, and that was back on March 8th of 2022. This is one of those books that if you don't have it in your collection, this is the perfect time to purchase it because there's such a low buy-in. And especially for those of us who weren't able to get this one um, from the stores, because I know this might have actually been under-ordered, seeing how that there were so many other variances that uh, stores had options to buy. So think about it. If you like Alex Ross and you want to add this to your collection, great price point for buying. All right, so that was honorable mention number one. The second honorable mention I want to bring to your attention. <laughs> the second honorable mention that I need to bring to your attention was also published by Marvel. And the title of this book is Dr. Doom, issue number one. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this book also is a modern era book. And it appears that Fantastic Four fans and Dr. Doom fans uh, have a little confidence in this book because this book is also moving on the secondary market. Again, not a whole bunch of gain, but some gain nonetheless. And I always say slow money is better than no money. You know what I mean? And this book is moving slowly, but surely. All right. This book was released on October 9th, 2019. Uh, last recorded sale for a raw copy of this book was $14.99, and that was back on March 16th of 2022. This book is trending upward at 15.58%. I know, you guys are like, why are you reporting this, CT? That's such a minute amount of movement. But at the, at the same token, you take a book that is cover price $3.99 and is now going for $14.99, and get this. 
The average sale for a CGC 9.8 of this book is $175. So this book went from cover price to $175 bucks graded, which is not bad at all. I thought the community might want to know about that. There are a lot of Fantastic Four fans out there, and specifically a lot of Doctor Doom fans out there that I know would love this information. So that's why I'm sharing it. Um, there has been 353 raw copies that have sold of this book, and there has been two graded copies that have sold, giving us a total of 355 copies of this book that have changed hands on the secondary market. The average price for a raw copy of this book is $11.29. That's double cover plus, right? So that needs to be mentioned. Double cover plus which is not bad, all right, for those of you who like flipping comics. So there is some move, there is some room for you to make a couple of extra bucks on this book. Fair market value has this book resting at $175 because the highest known sell for this book in the CGC 9.8 was back in January 19th of 2022, right? Well, this book sold for $175. Actually, it sold for a hundred, no, actually, yeah, actually it sold for $174.99, but me being who I am, I just decided to round it up, carry the one, put the penny on the other side, and just make it an even $175, which I know is not necessarily even, but I'm just saying. <laughs> $175, ladies and gentlemen, for the CGC 9.8, and that was back in January, and you can't go wrong with that. The most common grade of a 9.8 for 175 bucks. I can see why the community is getting a little excited about this book. That's a beautiful cover. I enjoyed that little series too, that little run. I read it. It was very good. You know, very Dr. Doom-esque. All right. So those are my two honorable mentions. And I hope you guys saw something you like out of either one of those. All right. I just wanted to bring those to our attention because they are definitely showing some signs of movement on the secondary market and we want to keep up with those. All right. Whew. Now, we're going to jump into our top 10 most trending comics of the week. This first book is published by Marvel. The title of this book is Amazing Spider-Man, issue number 101. Yes, first appearance of Morbius, right? Look, they just dropped a new trailer. They have the release dates out there. They have the release date out, and this movie has been long awaited. So I can see why the comic book community is excited about, about this book. And I had to put it on the list um, because it's showing significant movement on the market. Listen to these numbers. This book was released on October 1st, 1971, which was a great year. The key factor to this book is it is the first appearance of Morbius. The last recorded sale in a raw copy of this book was $710. And that was on March 15th of 2022, ladies and gentlemen. This book is currently trending upward, slowly but surely, at 20.29%. The average sale for a graded copy of this book in a 7.5 is $1,238. Average price for a raw copy of this book is $671. There has been 869 copies of this book that have sold in a raw form, and then there has been 790 graded copies of this book that have sold, giving us a total of 1,659 copies of this book that has changed hands on the secondary market. The highest known sell for this book in a CGC 9.8 went for $23,250 back in June 5th of 2021. Now again, I know you guys are asking, See, why are you telling us about that book cost 23 grand? But yes, at the end of the day, that that 98 cost 23 grand. But there may be someone out there who could afford that 75. Can't report on the 75 without reporting on the 98 because we got some major hustlers out there that look at that 98 and get dollar signs in their eyes and be like, "Yeah, I need that in my collection." Right? I don't want to forget anybody. I don't want to leave anybody out. I don't want to make any assumptions, right? 
So we report about the 9-8. We report about the 7-5. We report about the raw copy for $671. We're going to give all this information to the comic book community. And those of us who can afford what we can't afford, go after what you can get. Simple as that. We're not going to exclude anybody. This is where everybody's included in this. All right. So what we want to do is we want to make sure everybody knows that the fair market value of this book is $1,238 for the most common grade, the MCG of 7.5. 7.5 is the MCG of this book, the most common grade. And that's going for $1,238, which again is still not bad. You know, I could save a little change myself and I could actually get that book. <laughs> don't tell <laughs> right so keep your eye out on this book first appearance of morbius trailer just dropped comic book community is excited i'm excited i hope you're excited coming in at number 10 i mean excuse me number nine coming in at number nine we have a book that is published by image it, too, is a modern book. The title of this book is Spawn, issue number 327. The release date for this book was March 9th, 2022. The key factor to this book is it is a Todd McFarlane homage cover. Yes, one of the most homage covers by Todd McFarlane that is out there today. Now, the last recorded sale for a raw copy of this book was $10.99, and that was back on March 15th of 2022. This book is currently trending upward at 30.90%. Average sell for a graded copy of CGC 9.8 is $51.73. That's actually not bad. That sounds like someone just had it graded, and they just want to get their money back. $51.73, because I would think that, what, what does it cost to get that book graded? About, about $35, $40? Bucks. They're making maybe $10, $11 on the back end of that? 10 and some change? You guys know. The average price for a raw copy of this book is $8.61. There has been 66 raw copies that have sold, and there has been two graded copies that have sold, giving us a total of 68 copies of this particular book that have changed hands on the secondary market. The highest known sale for CGC 9.8 was $55.20, and that was back in February 14th on 2022. Somebody gave themselves a Valentine's Day gift. <laughs> Somebody loved themselves and gave themselves uh, a spawn, issue number 327. What better way to say, I love me. <laughs> Fair market value has this book resting at $51.73, the most common grade of a 9.8, which is not bad. All right? Moving on to number eight. This book, published by Marvel. The title of this book is Doctor Strange, Damnation. Issue number two. Now, first and foremost, shout out to Jim's Comics because he put he put eyes on this book and let the comic book community know what was going on with it. So all I did was start researching it and start finding the information that I could share with you guys some more. All right. Um, it's a modern era book. It is the first team appearance of the reformed. What is it? The Reformed, uh, Midnight Suns, Bats, Wong, Blade, Iron Fist, Elsa Bloodstone, Dr. Voodoo, and a whole bunch of other people, right? So, this book was released on March 7th, 2018. The last recorded sale uh, for this book in a raw copy was $50, and that was back on March 15th of 2022. This book is currently trending upward, ladies and gentlemen, at 38.88%. The average price for a raw copy of this book is $42.18. There has been 31 copies of this book that have changed hands so far on the secondary market. 
Um, the highest known sell for a raw copy of this book is $69.95. And that was back on March 12th of 2022. And I have to be honest with you guys. I went on eBay and I checked a lot of other sites also that move comics. And I see this book doing fairly well. Um, I don't know what it is about Mr. Jim Comics over there, but every time he mentions a book, it spikes, it, 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 and then it, you know, like the price just goes up and it continues to go up. So I see this book in, on, on eBay and it looks like it's going to continue to do numbers. Um, right now, it looks like you can get a copy. Well, they have them listed at about 69 or better, right? And there are a few, uh, a few variances out there also. The main cover you can get for about $45, 35 to 45 bucks. But the other two covers, cover B, I mean, cover, yeah, cover B and cover C, are gonna cost you a little more. Um, but listen to these numbers. The average price for a raw copy of this book is $42.18. Highest known sell for that raw copy was $69.95. And what I saw on eBay is a reflection of this information, right? So if you guys find something different out there, please leave a comment in the comment section. But it looks like this book is currently going for about that seventy buck, that seventy dollar mark. And once you grab those couple books that are for seventy bucks, it looks like you, you may tip over into the hundred dollar range. All right. So keep your eye out for this book, ladies and gentlemen. It's doing numbers on the secondary market. Moving right along. Coming in at number seven, this book is published by Marvel. It's a modern era book also. The title of this book is Silver Surfer, issue number one. And man, have I been waiting on this book to do something. I've got several copies around me. <laughs> so I'm glad, I'm actually glad that it's on the list because I have it. I'm like, oh shoot, I got a bunch of those, right? I'm pretty sure many of you do too, right? Absolutely. Right? So, this book was released on June 1st, 1982. The key factor to this book, it is when the Fantastic Four helps Silver Surfer break the barrier of Galactus and he's free to roam throughout the space waves. Right? So, he's finally free to roam and do his thing. The, la uh, the last recorded sale for a raw copy of this book was $11.99. Um, and that was back on March 15th, 2022. This book is currently trending upward, ladies and gentlemen, at 97.78%. So we're starting to see a decent amount of movement with this book. Average price for a graded copy of this book in a 9.6 is $98.17. Average price for a raw copy is $11.12, which I like that price point myself. Um, there has been 780 raw copies that have sold so far, and there has been 85 graded copies that have changed hands so far, giving us a total of 865 copies that have sold on the secondary market. The highest known sell for CGC 9.8 was back in October 29 of 2018, where this book sold for $280 um, in a 9.8. Fair market value has this book resting at $98.17 for the most common grade of the 9.6, all right? It's a beautiful book, definitely, definitely easy to get your hands on. And if you don't have it in your collection, now's the perfect opportunity. It's moving on the secondary market and it's not going for a lot of money. You can probably get your hands on a beautiful grade from anywhere between 10 to 15 bucks ungraded and send it in and get it CGC and hit that 9.8 and you'll be able to put it back on the market and possibly make you some gain on that, all right? Coming in at number six, we have some DC goodness, ladies and gentlemen. I told you, you cannot count DC out. Oh, oh yeah, and I went back and saw Batman again for the second time. Oh, it's official. I love that movie. I love how they did that movie. They put together a very well done Batman story. Without having to go back over everything and redo origin and all that other nonsense. Listen, that movie was fire. That movie was fire. Two hours and something long, it was dope. So if you haven't seen it, go see it. 
I loved it. Dope. Now, back to business. <laughs> this book was published by DC. This title is Justice Society of America, issue number one. Yes, and it is the reactivation of the Justice Society of America, right? And the key factor to this book is, it is the first appearance of Starman, uh, the First Lady Liberty Bell, Jessica, Jesse Quick, Cyclone, and a few other individuals. This is definitely a must-have in the collection. You've seen the trailer. Um, Justice Society of America is coming, so you might as well get this book, man, while you can. I have like two or three copies of it myself, and I just wanted to make sure I share that information with the rest of the comic book community. This book was released on December 6, 2006. Uh, the last recorded sale for a raw copy was $7.20, and that was back on February 21st of 2022. This book is currently trending upward at 30.88%, ladies and gentlemen. The average sale for CGC 9.8 is $108, and the average sale for a raw copy of this book is $7.87, again, which is not a bad price point for buy-in with, with, with such a, a, a spectacular book. And for those of us who know this book, know that it was also a good read. So you can't go wrong with this book, right? There has been 284 raw copies that have sold and 28 graded copies that have sold, giving us a total of 312 copies that have changed hands on the secondary market so far. The highest known sell for that CGC 9.8 was back in November 27th of 2020, when it sold for $195. And that's still not bad, right? Now, if I did have an issue with this book, I think my only issue would be is that this book was mass produced, like there's a lot of copies out there, but still there are not a lot of 9.8s. I don't know the exact number. I have I don't remember. I'd have to look it up again. Um but there's not a bunch of 9.8s out there, which makes this book uh a uh, a uh, 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 pretty sought after book and, and it makes a desirable it's a desirable book to have in the collection right again i love that cover it's a beautiful cover definitely worth one checking checking out. it's definitely worth checking up on definitely worth it, 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 particularly if you are um um a fan of the justice society of america all right fair market value has this book resting at 108 dollars for the most common grade of the 9.8 and that is just a beautiful price point right there for me. I like that. It's, you know, it's not going to break the bank. If I wanted to get this in my collection in a 9.8, I don't have to worry about my lights getting shut off or me missing my car note or none of that. Something I could afford is affordable key to add to the collection and definitely have my, you know, my boxes looking real good, real sturdy, real hefty. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen. We are halfway there, coming in at number five. But one second, before we do, let me stop like I always do and take this opportunity to thank each and every one of you for stopping by checking out the channel. I really appreciate all your love and support. I appreciate how many of you chimed in when I asked you about the length of the videos. Holy smokes, Batman. You guys were on it. I appreciate it. I appreciate the love because I enjoy what I do. I do this strictly out of the love I have for the collecting, out of the love I have for the hobby, out of the love I have for the community. No other reason. So the fact that you guys enjoy these videos means a great deal to me. And I guess the eyes have it. <laughs> In other words, I will not change a thing. I will keep doing what I'm doing, if only to improve is the only time I would make any any changes, all right? So I appreciate each and every one of you. I really do, man. I couldn't do this without you guys. And if this is your first time stopping by, checking out the channel, please consider subscribing to the channel and make sure you hit the like button because that does help us out a lot too. You know, we want to make sure that uh, YouTube knows that you guys enjoy watching your boy C3. <laughs> all right? And... There's only one thing I ask, is that when you're in that comment section, please don't bring anything other than good vibes only. Exactly. 
You can go to the other channels for the nonsense. We just want good vibes over here. Right. <laughs> now, back to our regularly scheduled program. Coming in at number five, ladies and gentlemen, this book is published by Marvel. The title of this book is Avengers, issue number one, and it is the Marco the Djurjevic 1 in 25 connecting variant. And if I didn't say that name right, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Yo, this book was released on May 19th, 2010. The key factor to this book is it is the cameo of Azari T'Challa, right? And I believe that that is, is that T'Challa's son? That might be a T'Challa's and, and, and Storm's son. So co leave a comment in the comment section. If I'm wrong, just let me know. I don't mind being wrong. Hey, if I was a genius, I wouldn't be here, right? <laughs> now, the last recorded sale for a raw copy of this book was $99.99. That is not bad. I like that. That shows great promise for this book. And that was back in March 4th of 2022. This book is currently trending upward and 33.74%, ladies and gentlemen. The average sell for a graded copy in the CGC 9.8 is $136. The average price for a raw copy is $60.23. There has been 60 raw copies that have sold so far and four graded copies that have sold, giving us a total of 64 copies of this book that has changed hands on the secondary market. The highest known sell, the highest known sell for CGC 9.8 was back on May 2nd of 2021, where this book sold for $185. I like that. So this book was promising back then. And even now, the price has gone down somewhat, but there's still that area of growth right there. That $136 um, for the average price for the CGC 9.8 shows that there is still some room for growth there. Fair market value has this book rested at $136 for the um, MCG of the 9.8, and I can respect that. Avengers issue number one, that Marco DeGergevic 1 in 25 connected variant. Get yourself one. <laughs> Coming in at number four, this book also was published by Marvel. And I'm talking about Tales of Suspense, issue number 94. This book was released on October 1st, 1967. It is a Silver Age book and debuted the first appearance of Modoc. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. Last recorded sale for this book in a raw copy was $123.50. And that was back on March 10th of 2022. This book also is trending upward at 59.63%. The average price for a graded copy of this book in the CGC 6.5 is $228. Average price for a raw copy, mid to high grade, is $302. There has been 638 raw copies that have sold and 171 graded copies that have sold, giving us a total of 809 copies of this book that have changed hands on the secondary market thus far. The highest known sale for CGC 9.8, hold on to your hats, is $12,600, and that was back on September 10th of 2020. Fair market value has this book resting at $228 for that 6.5 most common grade. I like this book, ladies and gentlemen. I can't afford that 9.8, but I'm telling you that $228 for the 6.5, and if I know me, if I could catch it in like a 7.0, or if I can catch it in a 7.5 or like an AO and negotiate a little bit, I can get me a nice mid-grade copy for not a lot of money. That's why I'm sharing this book with you. Because I see opportunity in this book. I would love to have this book in my collection. It is a book that I am going to be keeping my eye out for. I got, you know, a couple pennies saved up that I figure I might put toward a nice copy of something. And this might be 
a book that I go after real soon. All right. Tales of Suspense, issue number 94. Iron Man beat Titanium Man. Yeah. Iron Man beat him. He whooped him. He whooped him. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are down to our last three. Coming in at number three, this book, published by Marvel. The title of this book is Lou Cage, Heroes for Hire, issue number two. It's a Bronze Age book. It's when Luke fights the man who framed him and sent him to prison. Man, ain't nothing like getting your hands on the dude who sent you to the clinger, B. <laughs> Ain't nothing like getting your hands on the dude that sent you up north and hit. Listen, I right, I'm going to let that go. <sighs> All right. This book was released on August 1st, 1972. The key factor to this book is it is the first appearance of Claire Temple. Is it Clary Temple or Claire Temple? I'm going to call it Claire Temple. All right. Last recorded sale and a graded copy of this book was $53, and that was for a book of 5.5. A book that was graded 5.5 went for $53, and that was back on March 8th of 2022. This book is currently trending upward, my friends, at 69.38%. The average price for a graded copy of CGC 9.8 is $285, while the average price for a raw copy of this book is $78 and eight cents. Not bad at all. There has been 181 raw copies that have sold and 41 graded copies that have sold, giving us a total of 222 copies that have changed hands on the secondary market. Two, two, two. Two, 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 two. What's your number? Two, two, two. Two, 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 two. <laughs> 222 copies that have changed hands on the secondary market. The highest known sale for a CGC 8.0 is $753.99. And that was back on July 3rd of 2021. Fair market value has this book resting at $285 for the most common grade of 9.6. Keep your eye out on this book. Lou Cage, Harold for Hire. Issue number two, it's moving on the secondary market. Coming in at number two, ladies and gentlemen, we have another DC book. Yes, can't hate on DC. The title of this book is Future State, Wonder Woman, issue number one. The key factor to this book is that it is the first appearance of Yara Floor. Yes, beautiful. And look at that, look at that cover, man. That is awesome. Jenny Frizen. Yes, I know. Jenny, yes. This book was released on January 6, 2021. The last recorded sale for a raw copy of this book was $18.75. And that was back in March 10th of 2022. This book is currently trending upward at 92.69%. The average price for a graded copy of a CGC 9.8 is $53.66. The average price for a raw copy is $13.16. There has been 173 raw copies of this book that have sold and 17 graded copies that have sold, giving us a total of 190 copies of this book that have changed hands on the secondary market. I like that. The comic book community is invested in this book. It's not bad. It's moving. And you can see it. That 92% increase in, in, in copies sold is just a beautiful thing. 92.69% increase in copies sold. That's a beautiful thing. The highest known sale for this book in the CGC 9.8 is $187.50. And that was back in May 19th of 2021. Fair market value has this book resting at $53.66. And that's for the most common grade of the 9.8. Yeah. It appears that the comic book community has confidence in this book. Yara Floor, first appearance. Get yourself a copy. Let's 
excuse me. Yes, indeed. Coming in at number one, ladies and gentlemen. The number one hottest trending book on the secondary market. This book is published by Marvel. It is a Bronze Age book. And I know you guys have heard about this book and you heard about others. But I want you to pay attention to the numbers because numbers do not lie. Star Wars, Return of the Jedi, issue number two. This book was released on November 10th, 1983. The key factor to this book, it is when the Empire planned to bring Luke back to the dark side. Yes. And with everything that's going on with the revitalization of all the Star Wars stuff, we're bound to see something significant like this go down, right? And the comic book community is anticipating this thing happening all over again. We've seen it before, and we're probably going to see it again. When the Empire brings Luke to the dark side, they got to have Anakin. They got to have him. So this is going to go down. This is how it's going to go down. This book was released on November 10th, 1983. The last recorded sale in a raw copy of this book was $19.99. And that was back on March 15th, 2022. This book is currently trending upward, ladies and gentlemen at 281.79%. Somebody see something. The average price for a graded copy of this book in the CGC 9.6 is $95.70, while the average price for a raw copy of this book is $98.74 in a mid to high grade copy. So be very specific about the copies you're spending your money for. You can get the 9.6 graded already for $95.70, but you can get that raw copy in a nice mid to high grade. Again, be careful of what you're purchasing because you can spend $98.74 for, for something less than a 9.6, where the 9.6 is already going for $95. So make sure you're getting your money's worth. I encourage you, pay attention to how you're spending your money, all right? Whether you're trying to flip a book or whether you just want one to add to your collection. You want to read it, add it to your collection. I still believe that everybody wants what they pay for, right? You don't want anybody just giving you something, okay? There has been 158 raw copies that have sold so far, and there's been 27 graded copies that have sold, giving us a total of 185 copies of this book that have changed hands so far on the secondary market. While the highest known sale for CGC 9.8 in this book is $324.93, and that book sold back on uh, May 20th of 2021. The fair market value has this book resting at $95.70 for the uh, most common grade of the CGC 9.6. Marvel, Star Wars, Return of the Jedi, issue number two. Get yourself a copy. <laughs> Why so serious? <laughs> Listen, everybody, I've given you your list. You have your assignment. Let's hit these comic book stores. Let's be safe. Let's make wise choices. Listen, do not jump out the airplane without a parachute. Don't do it. But have fun because this is a hobby. This is what we love to do. It should be fun. All right? So I got to go. I'll see you guys next video. <laughs> there I go again. I got to go. I'll see you guys next video. <laughs> Listen, you know, it's good vibes only. I appreciate each and every one of you stopping by checking out the channel. I love and I respect each and every one of you. I couldn't do this without you. Don't forget, hit that like, hit that subscribe. Why? Because, you know what I always say, don't hate, congratulate. Show some love. Because that don't cost you nothing. Appreciate. But no matter what you do, ladies and gentlemen, when you see C3, always...
Keep it comics. Peace. Be safe. Have fun. Enjoy the hobby. See you guys next time.